Peace and blessings, family. Welcome back to another Through the Bible. We're going to pick up at Luke chapter 7. We're going to do verses 1 through 25. And of course, you know what to do. Get your pens, paper, Bible, and follow along and take notes. All right, so hard. Luke 7 and verse 1. Now, when he had ended all his sayings in the audience of the people, he entered into Capernaum. Okay, so this is talking about Jesus. He ended all his sayings that he had to say in the prior verse, and now he's headed to Capernaum. Okay? And a certain centurion servant who was dear unto him was sick and ready to die. So right here it says a certain centurion servant. I don't see one time where he said the centurion was a European. <laughs> It just said a certain, a certain centurion who was sick, who had a servant was, um, that was dear to him, was sick and ready to die. Okay? And when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. Heal his servant? You call in on your job sick. Yeah. <laughs> Under this system, mm -hmm. tell your manager, supervisor, your CEO, you just need some days off because mm -hmm. you're sick. But this here, he heard about Jesus. And, um, of course, he said that, that his servant was what dear to him. Dear. And so today we see under this system, these workers um, that's under these bosses, I call them, they don't care Show no. about um, their servants or what we would call employees. employees. And that goes back to, I don't care if you're a CEO, I don't care if you're an employee, a manager, a supervisor, a co-worker, whatever you are, it still do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. That's right. The CEO gets sick, do he come running in? Nope. Mm -mm. He stay uh, his corrupt behind home. That's right. Mm-hmm. And so does the manager. Yeah, and they stay all the Super stay five, team leader and all of them. Okay. Verse 4. And when they came to Jesus, they besought him instantly, saying that he was worthy for whom he should do this. All right. So let's go ahead and read verse 5. For he loveth our nation, and he have built us a synagogue. See? So Israel has somebody to care about him. Mm -hmm. But let's just say, because he, he said what he loveth our nation. Mm -hmm. But first, let's go to Ezekiel 37 and 22. Because okay. when we see he, he loveth our nation, yeah, the nation of Judah. Mm -hmm. But Israel, the house of Israel is still a nation. Yeah. But Judah can fall under the name Israel because they were still Israel. Yep. That's right. Okay. So we turn to Ezekiel 37 and verse 22. And I will make them one nation. <laughs> one. So they were separate nations. They were separate. From all the way back here, all the way still. But he careth for what? He loveth what? Our nation. Our nation. Oh my goodness. Okay. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. And one king shall be king to them all. And they shall be no more two nations. Neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. He loveth our, our nation. Yeah. Let's talk about Judah and Israel here in verse 22 of Ezekiel. Oh goodness. Okay, so we're going to see where it says in Proverbs 29 in verse 2. Because he said that, you know, when they came to Jesus, they said, Jesus, he is worthy that, you know, you should do this for him, for he loveth our nation. Mm -hmm. So Proverbs 29. And build us a synagogue. Let us go to Proverbs 29 in verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear of rule, the people mourn. You see, the centurion was a righteous man. He loved the uh, nation of Judah. He built them a synagogue to worship in. And guess what? They, the people what? Loved, loved him. him. Mm -hmm. Because he what? Loved their nation. But it makes a difference when a righteous person is in authority. Yeah. Whether it be on the job, in the house, 
in the government. Yes, uh, completely. It makes a difference. <laughs> but when the wicked bear rule, what? Oh, gosh. Oh, the people moon. They be like, ooh, can't wait till this wicked joker get out of office. Yeah. Ooh, can't, oh, I hope she don't cut. We got a new manager cut. I hope they fire. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, he dread Monday morning. Right, mm-hmm, because of the wickedness. Uh -huh. That's right. But they were um, happy that this centurion had compassion and kindness for them. Okay, verse 6. Then Jesus went with them. And when he was not, uh, when he was now not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying unto him, Lord, trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof. So now mm. we just read about the two nations, Judah and Israel. So we know when we go to the book of Acts, when Peter said it's unlawful, you know, for a man that is, mm, you know, that, is, that a is a Jew or of the house of Judah, in other words, to keep company With or to another. come to another nation. So that was a Pharisee of the law. Yeah. That was some tradition of man that they had. Because remember, to your tents, oh, Israel. Yeah, remember all that yeah, back to your back tents. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what inheritance do we have with thee, Jesse? <laughs> No, that division for we ain't coming near mm -hmm. each other no more. Mm -hmm. And so that's how all those laws get stuck. You know Israel will pop up with mm -hmm. something. You stay on your side of town and I'll stay on mine. But if it was against Jesus wouldn't have even considered. He would have said what Peter said. Now you know. I can't go to no. <laughs> wouldn't he yeah, would have said That's right. Because Jesus shot straight from the hip. He hoped. He told that woman I don't get a food to uh the children's to food to no dog. Oh, man. He just straight up said it. They'd have been offended. Mm. If Jesus would hear this called dog, he done called the woman a dog. But he said what he said. Okay. Verse 7. Wherefore, neither thought I myself worthy to come unto thee, but say in a word, and my servant shall be healed. And just think about it. this man said, Whether, wherefore, neither I thought myself worthy to come wow. to thee what commander of a military or that's in a high position of any kind will call themselves wor not worthy because mm. you know today that's humility yeah. yes people in power today you better they expect you mm -hmm. to come you yes. come when i call you when yes. you're summoned <laughs> you better be here pronto you better hurry mm -hmm. that's right but he said he wasn't even worthy that you should even, you know, that I should even come to you or you come mm. to my room. Because he, because he, he know that even though he had a certain authority on this earth, mm -hmm. he knew that this was the real, the real deal, the real mm -hmm. authority figure. That's right. This is God himself. Mm -hmm. That's right. But man, today they think they were the, mm -hmm. uh -uh. <laughs> but I like what he just said, just saying a word. Just like when you word. said, let there be light, if you just say that, yes, it's going to be light. If you just say, be healed, my servant to be healed. And just think, he wasn't even asking for himself. Mm -mm. He was asking for, for a servant. servant. That's real love. Mm. Mm. Yeah, because he, he said that my servant shall be healed. Yeah. Okay. Um, verse 8. Verse eight. Mm -hmm. For I am... Uh, for I also am a man set under authority, having under me soldiers. And I say unto one, Go, and he goeth. And to another, Come, and he cometh. And to my servant, Do this, and he doeth it. Mm, see mm. there, he said, I understand that your father sent you. And he gave you authority. What is that authority? He gave you the right to do what you do. He gave you this power. He said, just like I have power or authority given to me by man, but yours come from God. Yes, sir. I love that. Mm. And But that shows you some people are very observant. Yep, that's right. Let us go to John 5. Right. Yeah, because I'm sweating. Yeah, because you're Y'all, preacher. I'm sweating like yes. a sunny. <laughs> hey, yes. You are sunny preacher, no. boy. Sweating like one of them. I got a little hand in there. And the napkin is clean, y'all. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> I am I am really a sweater. Yes. Yeah, I sweat a lot. It's this Florida sun, y'all. With the hat on, I yep. sweat. <laughs> All right. So let us go to John verse 5, and we're going to do 25 through 27. John 5, 21 through 27. Huh. Or 25 through 27. 25. I'm sorry if I said 21. Okay. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming. And now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. For as the Father have life in himself, so have he given to the Son to have life in himself, and have given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. So that centurion understand he understood that. that he have given him authority to execute judgment. So he said, just like uh, I got authority as the centurion, mm -hmm. as a captain of my man, yes. I know no, you got authority. You got authority. Mm -hmm. So whatever you speak, mm -hmm. it's going to get done. Done. You got the power mm -hmm. to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So it lets you know that the centurion had to be very observant. Mm -hmm. And that's faith. Yes. This one mm -hmm. God wants us to, this is what he wants us to have. Is faith. Oh, yeah. He's he going to speak about that down yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Let's go to verse 9. Uh, verse 9. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him and turned him about and said unto the people that followed him, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. So in this house of Judah, I ain't found nobody <laughs> with no kind of faith like this. Let us go to Matthew 17 and verse 14. Because the Jews didn't believe nothing. This old house of Judah that was still under the ban of Israel. That's why he says, no, not, not in Israel. Israel. So let's read verse 14 through 20 of Matthew 17. All right. It says, And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and sore vexed. For oftentimes he falleth into the fire and oft into the water. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation. And he dealt his with disciples, mm -hmm. who was what, Jews? Jews. Or in the, under the house of Judah, but they was what, faithless. faithless. And he said, I have not found so what great faith, great faith. in Israel or in the, in, uh, the house of Judah. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they didn't have no faith. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. Yes, that was it. Mm-hmm. For verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Just a faith of grain of wow, mustard not seed. not small that. Mm-hmm. Y'all Google, Google mustard seed. See how yep. tiny that thing is. Mm -hmm. The tiniest seed on the earth. Yes. And Jesus, look what he said. You shall what? Say. Say. Whatever you say, just by faith. Mm -hmm. That's why I say don't speak negative things over yourself or about yourself or on your sisters and brothers, mm -hmm. you know, because you have faith you enough to say it. It happens. It, it manifest. manifests itself. Use those same words for the good of yourself, mm -hmm. for the good of your loved ones, you know. But we, we first, we go to the negative song. Yeah. Mm-mm. No, he said, you shall say to this mountain, remove it. He said, it'll be removed. Why? Because Jesus said, I do it all the time. 
I just speak the word and boom, things happen. Yeah. Why? Faith. We believe. All right. Now let's go back to Luke 7. Verse in verse 10. 10. And they that were sent, returning to the house, found the servant whole that had been sick. Mm. Mm. So Jesus sent the word. And when they got there, guess what? They found the servant whole mm. that had been sick. He was well. Mm. Well. And Jesus never once told his man, well, you got to sow a seed of a thousand dollars and then... Peter, y'all bring them drop cloths so y'all can spread it over him. And, you know, he it just, yeah. the, the faith, what it moves God. Mm -hmm. You want to see God do something? Have some faith. faith. Believe that he can do it and he'll do it. Mm -hmm. But you ain't see all that sow a seed of a thousand dollars. Call this toll free number at mm -hmm. the bottom of the mm -hmm. screen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 1 800 touch me. Yeah. No, we yeah. ain't have that going on. No. All right, let's go to verse 11. And it came to pass the day after that he went unto a city called Naim, and many of his disciples went with him, and much people. Mm -hmm. Right, and so in this little city called Naim, it's a little fishing village. You all can look that up at, on your leisure. And it came to pass the day after that he went into that city called Nia and his what? Many, many, many of his disciples, or those, because <coughs> it was just more than the 12 just disciples, the 12, yeah. but a disciple is a follower of Christ, went with him and what? Much, Much people. And so we wonder why, like, the many, many of his disciples went with him and much people. Why? Because when people see light, they gonna follow you. They follow Jesus. Why? Because they saw hope. Mm -hmm. You know, they saw hope in this dark world. Mm -hmm. You know, they saw one that can deliver them from trouble, deliver them from diseases that could dispense that word. Mm -hmm. One that could take them, one that can lead them. That's what happens when people see the light. They be drawn to it. Yeah, follow. And they follow him. Mm -hmm. Especially in this dark world. Verse 12. Mm -hmm. Now when he came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and much people of the city was with her. Now this here is a sad situation yeah. because you have um, a widow and she only has that one son, and you know, um, that son is supposed to take care of you in your old age. And so she already is a widow. She don't have a husband. And then you my own son and you did. So it's yeah. just her. But I like the fact that um, much people of the city was with her. That's right. And that's yeah. something that is missing in Israel. Yeah. Instead of being with each other, we are against. Against, yeah. Child, I'm going just to see how to look on her face. Yeah. That's why I some people stand. come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But no, this wasn't there. And this was the only son of this mother. Okay. 13. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said unto her, weep not. What? So when Jesus saw her, he had compassion. Yeah, compassion. He showed what that sympathy, that mercy, that kindness. And he said, what well, weep not. Mm -hmm. That lets you know that she was, she was really crying. Mm -hmm. And them tears was just flowing down her face. Mm -hmm. You know, but when we see people crying, we see it as a weakness. Yeah, well, yeah. honey, y'all must have been reading them songs with David. Yeah, because he David was a cry, okay? <laughs> yeah. And this was a, a man who was known to be a warrior. Yes. Mm hmm. But he'll tear up in a moment. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. He wasn't afraid to show that vulnerability. Mm hmm. That, no, Lord, I need your help. Yeah. And it shows you the love that she had for yeah. this only son she well out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As any woman. Yes. And you can almost see the story of Israel. Yeah. We ain't going to go there. Mm -hmm. Verse 14. And he came and touched the buyer. And they that bear him stood still. And he said, young man, I say unto thee, arise. Wow. wow. And so here it is, Jesus, he 
touch the buyer or the casket, and they that bear him, because you know they, they have those men they on the carry side, they you carry out. you out. And he said, what young man, I say unto thee, arise. Because what we call dead, Jesus calls what sleep. Yes, sir. So he said, let me wake this um, young man out of his sleep mm -hmm. so that his mama can be all right. Mm -hmm. Let's go to John chapter 11 and verse 11 to 14. These things said he, and after that, he saith unto them, Our friend Lazarus sleepeth, but I go that I may awake him out of sleep. Mm -hmm. Then said his disciples, Lord, if he sleep, he shall do well. Howbeit Jesus spake of his death, but they thought that he had spoken of taking up rest in sleep. Then said Jesus unto them plainly, Lazarus is dead. <laughs> they just, they got so, boy, I tell you, they just really yeah, were Jesus' Lord always nerves. had to spill it out. <laughs> he did, man. Yes. And so, but you see, like, they, they saw things differently. They always looked with the yeah. carnal mm -hmm. eyes. And just like those in this mm -hmm. mother weeping, you know, she sees her son is dead. Jesus saw him asleep. Sleep, yeah. But Jesus said, I got the power mm -hmm. to wake him up. Yes, sir. Young man. Mm -hmm. Arise. And we know the apostles called on later because you can read in their epistles where mm -hmm. they say they use that word sleep. Yes. Or I take my rest. Yes. So we know that they finally understood. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. What you view as dead is just sleeping. Just sleeping. That's all. Mm -hmm. and so when they wrote to the churches, they would say that those of you who are troubled, you rest mm -hmm. with us. Just like you do at or they night. Have those who have fallen asleep. Mm hmm. Yep. Like at night, you sleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You sleep. You don't. And you, you don't, don't know, know nothing. nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Look. you having a, you resurrecting every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Verse thirty-one through thirty-five uh, of John. Oh, John eleven. Yes. Uh, thirty-one. The Jews then, which were with her in the house, and comforted her, when they saw Mary, that she rose up hastily and went out, followed her, saying. She goeth unto the grave to weep there. Then when Mary was come where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Lord, if thou hast been here, my brother had not died. And I like that. That still mm -hmm. shows the faith that she had. Believe He might have been sick, but I know you would have healed him. Mm -hmm. And he wouldn't have died. Mm -hmm. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping, which came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled and said, Where have you laid him? They said unto him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. So you weep with those who weep. That's right. Laugh with those who laugh. The Israel, we do the opposite. Mm. But Jesus wept. Mm. Let's see verse 39 to 44. 39. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, Take ye away the stone, Martha, uh, stone, Martha, the sister of him that was dead, saith unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he have been dead four days. Four days he done been dead, mm -hmm. so you know it's hot and everything, and your body done been all closed up, you know he stinketh by now, because mm -hmm. he done been dead with four days. 40. Jesus saith unto her, Said I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God? If you have faith, mm -hmm. don't be faithless, but have faith, mm -hmm. and then you'll see the glory of God. Okay? All right. 41, 41. 44. Mm -hmm. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me, and I knew that thou hearest me always. And because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Mm -hmm. And when he, had, when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth bound hand and foot with grave clothes 
and his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus saith unto them, Loose him and let him go. Yes, sir. Boy, look at him. And what I love here, what you learn is that there is no situation, even today, whatever we go through, there's nothing that seems like it's dead, mm -hmm. it's over, mm -hmm. ain't no coming back. Yes. But God can, he can revive that thing. He can yes. change. You, you ain't no such thing as nah. it's over mm -hmm. or you, or it's, uh, it done went too far with yes. God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. With man, it come to it. Oh, well, that's it. That's all we can do. This yeah. is about as good as it get, but not with God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. And you just think about it, that you be doing all that weeping and crying mm -hmm. and going on. Mm -hmm. And all Jesus got to do is just, and just, just speak. speak the word. Yeah. Yeah. And it happens. Mm -hmm. You know. But just went here to show how we, what we call dead. You know, the Lord calls sleep. sleep. And I know at my grandmother's funeral... You know, they sung a song that saints don't ever die. They just sleep away, you know. And that was so beautiful. They was like, saints don't ever die. They just sleep away. Oh, saints don't ever die. They just sleep away. They just sleep away in the Lord. Why? Because they're going to be resurrected. Yeah. But look, them saints, by then, they, they had to understand. They knew that. Mm -hmm. they, they understood. I yes, wanted sir. to um, read this right quick. Okay. Psalms chapter 116 okay. and verse 15. We go there. Psalms 115. Okay. It says, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is why Jesus was weeping. Yes. Like, he don't. Jesus, the, the Lord don't like death. That's mm -hmm. why he gonna do do away with death. Yes. And hell. Thank God. No grave. All of that at the end is gonna be thrown into the lake of oh. fire. Mm -hmm. That's right. I don't have to ever worry about that no more. Mm -hmm. That event will be gone. No more funerals. Mm -hmm. nope. No more burying your no. loved ones. That's right. That's so true. What a beautiful day that would be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No more fear in it coming. No, that's right. Mm -hmm. Love that. So that's the Lord right. don't sit back and take it pleasure. No. It's mm -hmm. saying precious. Mm -hmm. That's right. In his sight. Mm -hmm. What well, we just read with Jesus went. Mm -hmm. But it has to happen because he spoke from the mm -hmm. beginning. Yes. Mm -hmm. To Adam way in the beginning. Yep. The day you eat them. You know, that's right. So it have to happen, but we don't have to feel. That's Because right. that same voice that said, Lazarus, come forth, mm -hmm. rise, young man. That's right. That same voice is going to raise us all. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. We're going to live again. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Okay. So Luke 7 and 15. 15. And he that was dead sat up and began to speak. And he delivered him to his mother. Oh boy, she boy, needed her son. Know. Can you imagine the joy in this woman's heart? I'd have been like. She went from weeping to just to instantly like that. The Lord changed her situation. Wow. My goodness. And he and delivered him to his mother. Only God can do yes, that. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. And he just start talking as soon as he got up. Because yeah. <laughs> he was just asleep. Mm -hmm. Probably thought he was asleep. Probably yeah. had the wildest dream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably like, what y'all do? <laughs> everybody, everybody, you know how Israel can look now. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay, verse 16. And there came a fear on all, and they glorified God, saying that a great prophet is risen up among us, and that God has visited his people. Wow. And mm. there came a great a fear on all. And this fear is missing today. Yeah. You know, people don't fear God. I know there was a time when, when you was just walking by church. You had to be quiet. You didn't say nothing. And you definitely you turned your respect, music down. You know. Yes. You respected the preacher, pastor, whoever mm. it was. All that fear is gone. Anything that was connected yeah. to God, you yeah. didn't deal with that. Sacred was off limits. Mm -hmm. It was sacred. 
You didn't play with it. You didn't deal with that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Man, it could be lightning. They think they mm -hmm. can get out there and walk and yeah. don't respect. Today, to mm -hmm. hear some of the disgusting things these new Israelites say, mm -hmm. it'll make you shiver. Yes. Mm -hmm. How you shaking. Sure will. Bitch. I mean, just willy-nilly, no fear. Willy -nilly, no, fear mm -mm. no wonder the Lord going up and through people yes, sir. He with his play. sword of punishment. Mm -hmm. That's how he do. That's how he get out. But I like that they said that a great prophet is risen up among us. Yes, that prophet, mm -hmm. like unto Moses, That's right. he has risen up. And that what? God has visited, visited who? His, his people. people. But wait a minute. Wasn't the leadership, the chief priests and the Pharisees, wasn't they supposed to be men of the Lord? Mm -hmm. And be healing and visiting the people? They ain't say all this? No. Because mm -mm. they weren't doing it like this. No. No, they was too busy operating in the system, mm -hmm. chasing the bass, right? Creating their own laws. Yep, yeah. oppressing the people, not visiting them. Mm -mm. When they visited, it was too oppressed. Like, oh, here they come. Oh, God, God. Mm -hmm. here he go. <laughs> That's right. Here she go. Yeah, you knew it was not for your good. Okay. Verse 17. And this rumor of him went forth throughout all Judea, and throughout all the region round about. Because yeah, something great like that happens, yeah, the tell news me. just spreads. You know. And this is real, we talk about. Oh, yeah. This is before cell phones mm -hmm. and social media. Wow. They was quicker than in the internet. <laughs> you can have internet lightning speed. You won't be able to yeah. room it out like Israel, this. Israel, he is high speed. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> sure is. All right, verse 18. And the disciples of John shewed him of all these things. All right, because John is in prison, so here we go. Verse 19. And John, calling unto him, two of his disciples sent them to Jesus, saying, Are thou he that should come, or look we for another? All right, let us go to Isaiah chapter 9 and see what the prophet says. Verse Isaiah 9, 6, and 7. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David, and upon his kingdom to order it, and to establish it with judgment and with justice, from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. So I don't care who call themselves rising up at the end and the end times, mm -hmm. saying that they are Christ. He already came. So, John, no, we ain't got to look for it, no. We ain't gotta it look is for he. Look. This is that yes. child has been born. And he is given. Okay. Verse, let us go to verse 20 of Luke 7. Um, what is it? Luke 20. Oh, Luke, Luke 7, 7 and 20. I'm talking when about the man were uh, when the men were come unto him, they said, John the Baptist have sent us to thee, saying, Are thou he that should come, or look we for another? Okay. And I think the reason, too, why John is one of them faith things. Yes, is yes. Because we're into that. Because mm -hmm. no. he's in prison. Okay. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, verse 21. And in that same hour he cured many of their infirmities and plagues and of evil spirits. And unto many that were blind he gave sight. All right, so we see Jesus here. He answered with his works. So let's mm. go to John 15 and verse 24. It says, If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sinned, but now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. All right. And so I'm just here... Because remember, they asked John, John asked the questions, are thou he that should come, or look we for another? But here, we're just looking at it here, because Jesus said, if I had not done among them the works which none other man did, no other man has done the works 
that Jesus has done. And so, of course, we don't have to look for, for another. another. Mm -hmm. Today they say they're healing, they ain't healing nobody. Hospitals full. Okay? Verse 22. Then Jesus answering said unto them, Go your way and tell John what things you have seen and heard, how that the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, to the poor the gospel is preached. All right. So he has done all those works. So he said, remember he said, if I had not done them among them the works which no other man did. And so Jesus just said that he, he, the blind see, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, deaf hear, the dead are raised. And to the poor, the gospel is what? It's preached. preached. Okay. So Jesus, in this here, he just let his works do the talk. Yeah. Because yes, so. ain't no other man have done this. So you mm. go tell John that mm. right there. Verse 23. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. All right. And he said also, you tell John that blessed is he who is does not fall away because of me. He's not offended. So don't let your suffering um, for Christ's sake make you throw in the towel, make you give up because that sword is about to go on John's nail. Yeah. But you hang in there. Don't be offended. Don't let your faith be shaken in this hour. Let us go to Psalms 119 and verse 165. Psalm chapter 119 and verse 65. Um, one, one, six, 165. Yes. Okay. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. And see, I like this here because he told John, his blessed is he who shall, shall not be offended in me. And we know Christ has given us his word. And we're going to suffer things. You're not always going to. He said, great peace great have they. Peace. Because when you're going through those trials and tribulation, one thing about it, we don't do like the world do. We don't take our own life. Mm -hmm. You know, we go through a situation, but we're still able to pray. You know, we can fast. We can do so many things because we got offended. Because we say, but Lord, you said in your word. That's right. You know, because I know I've done, done it Me many times. Lord, you said in your word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I get the Bible out and read it to him. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Chapter and verse. I sure do. <laughs> <laughs> read it to him. That's right. Instead of what? Not being offended. Mm -hmm. Because we know we go through, go through things, mm -hmm. you know, um, serving the most high. But because of his law, trusting mm -hmm. in his word, in other words, we know that, that he's going to take care of yes. it, even though at that moment we are going through that suffering, we yes. know he going to bring me out. That's right. Because I read it. Mm -hmm. Even like Job, when he got down to the point, he said, though he slay me, no, he slay I'm going to still trust him. Yes, See, that's that peace, that, mm -hmm. that peace that a man, I know if, hey, if he killed me, yeah. I yeah, still, I'm yeah. still, I'm going to go out trusting yeah. him. Mm -hmm. Why? Because there's a resurrection. Yeah. We have peace in knowing that. Yes, sir. All right. And so you're not going to stumble when you trust the word of God. Because that's what's in your mind. As soon as them troubles hit, first thing. you start. Mm -hmm. Lord, you said right here, right Look here, right John, here. Is, this, is, is, is he sure not? Because yeah. I'm not the glory. <laughs> Because remember, John knew it to be, he told you in the beginning at his baptism, mm -hmm. he was shown. Mm -hmm. He was told that the one the Spirit is sent on, this mm -hmm. is he. That's right. Mm -hmm. But now here, I need another. That's right. <laughs> I must decrease I as he increases. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, it can get real for you. It does. That's why the Lord said, you know, we're going to make sure we get in this word mm -hmm. in us so we don't be offended. Yes. Because mm -hmm. it's easier said than done. Uh, yeah. It's one thing to know it, but then to be, Ooh. to put that test hit. Boy. Oh, my goodness. Whole that pressure situation. be on you. 
Yeah, I mean, everything that you read, that's why you have to go get the Bible. Because yeah. all of a sudden, <laughs> within a matter of a couple of seconds, you have forgot everything in scripture. <laughs> First chapter. You're like, hold on, I got back here and remind myself. <laughs> it's slipping. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to Luke 7 Luke and 7, 24. 24. And when the messengers of John were departed, he began to speak unto the people concerning John. What went ye out into the wilderness for to see? A reed shaken with the wind? So first of all, wait a minute. So before he carried on, he waited to the messengers of, um, the messengers of John had left before he went on to say mm -hmm. the good things he had to say about John. Mm -hmm. John don't need to hear this because this thing that he finna go through, he gonna have to go through it. Mm -hmm. His faith is on trial now because that's the way the Lord do, you know, because John has got to overcome that cell. He got to overcome that sword on his arm. Seems like the Lord won't give you no words of comfort. Yeah, you be like, <laughs> it's all on the line. Because as soon as they would have said, yeah, and then he said, what they, boy, he did, what, let's go. What they went out in the wilderness to see, you know. Yeah, I'm good. It, not good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, he said, what went you out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaking in the wind? No. John wasn't some scared again. Yeah. He wasn't shaken by what um, Men would say, actually, this is what got him old in yep. prison, head chopped off. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he didn't be in a break because it was uh, hair. Yeah. Should you have your um, brother's wife? Yeah. You know, totally straight. He like, said it like it was supposed to be said. But it always seems like when you're going through, boy, that that's when Jesus talked when you can't hear. Yeah. You know? Yeah. People praying for you, but you can't hear. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. you're not there. You just mm -hmm. seem like you're just there alone in this spot by yourself. Mm -hmm. But Jesus got your bite. He can. He's speaking. Yeah. Meanwhile, in heaven, he's speaking. Mm -hmm. Yes, have you seen my servant such mm -hmm. and such? Yes. But you don't know none of that going mm -hmm. on. You just you, knowing, oh Lord. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's so quiet. Boy, yep. they said nothing. I ain't, I ain't heard nothing. Mm -hmm. So, no encouragement coming my way. Right. I got to encourage myself because that's how the Lord do. Mm -hmm. It's because your faith is on trial. Mm -hmm. Test it. Remember that fiery trial. Oh, Peter was talking yes. about, Not talking just about a trial, but fiery. Mm. Add fire to it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You, you got to go through it by mm -hmm. yourself. So there was no words of encouragement. Just tell John mm -hmm. this is what you see. He mm -hmm. out there healing, delivering the people and doing all mm -hmm. this. You know the test real when you just get quiet. Yeah, you ain't got no words. You got you're out of words. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just mm -hmm. help him. That's yep. it. Mm -hmm. Yep. And he told John, "Don't be offended in me. Yep. You better keep the faith. Because mm -hmm. all that you done, all the laboring and all you done done, now it's on the line. See what mm -hmm. you're gonna do. The sword, your head is gonna be on the platter. It's done been requested." Thing. You know, but the fact that you know the messages of John when they left, that's when Jesus began that's to speak those started. good things. <laughs> Why? Because your faith got to be tested. Yep. It's got to be tested. But John went on through with it because his head you. was delivered. Yep. Okay, verse 25. But what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment. Behold, they which are gorgeously apparel and live delicately are in the king's courts. See, he letting them know John wasn't a man operating in this system. Mm -hmm. Fancy clothes and cars and all that junk. No, you're going to find that where? In king's courts. courts. Those that live in high places. Those men who divvy out the orders. Mm -hmm. who sit in the nice seats yep. in the government. You know, fly, fly first class. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I think it's funny because it said, are in king's courts, but Jesus is a king. Yes, sir. He just don't run his kingdom like the system run theirs. He he run his righteously. And he lets you know, John wasn't a part of this system. Mm. You got to go to the king's court if you want to see that. 
John was a man operating by faith, living by faith, and loving his God. But he just asked a question, and that was all. Just tell me something. Yeah, just give me. Because <laughs> yeah. when you're in that cell, because it's like you're in a cell by yourself alone. Yeah. And that sword just waiting on Boy. you. Mm. Boy, I tell you. You got to think about that. Mm-hmm. Yep. It, it's just you. But this trial, this test was for John. And John, he has had overcome it on his own. Mm -hmm. Christ said, you better not be offending him. Or it's over. So that is all that I have. Yep. Yes, ma'am. You have anything you want? No, ma'am. All right. That's it, family. We will say shalom. shalom.